having multiple streams of income and side hustles has been such a buzz lately and of course everybody wants to be a content creator on the internet but baby it is not all fun and games over here and i feel like there's not enough transparency about both sides of content creating and side hustles in general so let's get into that nitty gritty about the good bad and ugly of this social media thing and side hustles in general i'll tell you how much i've been making and how much i charge and i'm also give a little bit of tips in case you're interested all right so keep it locked for all that and more it's Chris with the cash compass Start on social media, all right? Nothing in this world is oversaturated, so please don't talk yourself out of getting into social media. But please, please, please be selective about what social media platform you're going to use, all right? So you know, for YouTube, since this is what we're on right now, it took me 11 months to make one penny, and that was with consistent posting. I wasn't BSing out here, right? Every single week, I was posting videos, nada, dead silence. It took a pandemic for my, my channel to get attention, okay? Because I was reporting on stimulus checks and that's when I first picked up some traction. The other side of that, however, is that it is a great high paying, if not one of the highest paying social media platforms out there, okay? YouTube is a, a freaking production, okay? I have my lights set up, I have to have a professional camera, I have a microphone, I have to edit, I need to do a thumbnail, I need to do a bio. Do I need to continue? It's a whole TV show out here. <laughs> and it took TikTok for me to realize that, wow, this is really, not the most like, effective use of my time. There's people who will always tell you like, oh, buy my course, I'll teach you about the YouTube algorithm, but it really boils down to how well you can get your message out there, okay? How well can you really sell what you have to say in the first 30 seconds? Also, your niche might not perform that well, right? Finance is a very lucrative niche on YouTube because those advertisers happen to pay higher, but you might not have the same experience on here if you're in beauty or with personal training or fitness because it's just, it's a different industry. Now, TikTok, that is my latest babe. If you do not follow me on TikTok, what you waiting for, okay? I post on there every day. Whenever you don't see me on YouTube, I am more likely than not on TikTok somewhere, okay? I love it because the reach is crazy. Uh, I got, I have like, triple the amount of subscribers on TikTok and I've only been on there for five months. So the algorithm is extremely favorable and the exposure is incredible, okay? I have been contacted by a lot of very big names because of my TikTok, not because of my YouTube. A lot of good quality brands will reach out to me for brand deals, people that I actually recognize because of TikTok, okay? Not YouTube, but TikTok in and of itself as a platform does not pay that well, okay? Matter of fact, I'm gonna do this right now live. Wait, what? 11.98. I swear to God, Apple will be charging me for stuff. I don't even know what this is. Oh, never mind. I know what it is. <laughs> okay. Anyway. Oh, look, y'all. They celebrated me because I made 3.33. Matter of fact, that's a really good number. Make a wish. Three dollars and thirty-three cents, and they'll be here like, like woo. <laughs> All right. Ooh, it's more than I thought. I think I said I made three hundred dollars on YouTube, baby. No, I haven't. I made focus, baby. Two twenty-two another good number make a good wish oh baby we have a lot of little angel numbers going on right now yeah 222 dollars for five months of posting consistent content and then let's just see for kicks and giggles how many views i've had on here okay because i've had a lot of views you can only go back 60 days okay so i've been on youtube or i've been on tiktok excuse me since uh april march or april of this year okay so this is only based on june numbers if if you can't see it i'm gonna post a screenshot 4.4 million views, okay? So I've had 4.4 million views in this two day or two month period, and I've only gotten $222 on there. So the app in and of itself sucks, but the exposure is crazy because I actually got paid um, almost $2,000 through brand deals, and I only did like two different brand deals, okay? So yeah, it's like that on TikTok. <laughs> and that gets into my next. I guess side hustle are the brand deals, right? So TikTok as a platform itself, pennies. YouTube as a platform itself, not pennies. Good, good, a good amount of money, okay? But the brand deals are where it's really at because on the brand deals, mind you, this is when I was at about 50,000 supporters on TikTok. Now I have almost 80,000. Um, but when brands started reaching out to me, uh, I started charging $500 per video and the videos would be like 30 seconds long So anywhere from 500 to 700 is what I've been charging right now But baby, let me let me tell you like these prices are going up as I keep on getting more exposure on TikTok This is where you really set your own price and either they take it or they leave it right because 500 for a 30 second video might sound like a lot but 
a lot of times these companies they don't want you to promote other brands that they're competing with right so that's you're taking money out of my pocket right there because i cannot promote other brands i have to come up with the idea write a script get it approved record and sometimes record even again if it doesn't go the way they wanted it to and these companies use this for advertisements so they could actually make even more money off of it if you really want to create a consistent source of income and get paid more offer packages okay so i have an a la carte kind of menu where it's like if you want to pay for one video it's 500 dollars. but i'll give you like two videos like i'll give you a whole month long collaboration and i'll include videos not only on tiktok but maybe also on youtube i'll do stories like it's a little bit of a package and you can pay close to the same price right you get much more value if you pay in a package deal movie theaters do this all the time the small bag of popcorn will be like this small and it's eight dollars the big one is like this big and it's 875 come on now you know what we're choosing it's a tactic that big companies do and that we can learn from so my packages make the a la carte look a little bit less attractive right so you're almost kind of inclined to pay for a package we can really work together for a whole month and i'm going to turn out multiple pieces of content for you to use the other side of this though is that people do not like advertisements so you have to be really creative with how you i guess come up with these brand deals because people tend to get super turned off which you know side note it's kind of crazy to me because it's like youtube is free for example and you'll see people getting mad because they had to watch a five second commercial and press skip ads it's like why are you advertising oh i don't want to watch this why if you watch all my youtube videos and actually put into play what i say you could be a millionaire for free but you're mad because you have to watch a 15 second video? For real? Be for real. When you're selling on the internet, it's so important to make sure that the person feels like they're getting more of a benefit than what they had to pay to actually, you know, for the product or for whatever it is. A person that does this really, really well is Saweetie. She has a lot of different brand deals on her Instagram, but they're always a production, like she's doing a whole skit. So the viewer is getting more entertainment than annoyance, right? Because yes, you are promoting a product, but I'm still being entertained. You put a lot of effort into it and we can really appreciate that. So finding a good balance between you know kind of putting brands in front of people in a way that's that seems like valuable for them right you don't want to be throwing out any brand so i don't just say yes to everybody um and being selective has helped me keep a good income and as well as not piss people off all right courses so if you guys have been watching my channel lately you know that i do have a course that i have used personally to triple my income and have multiple tens of thousands of dollars in my bank account at any given moment right this is like my step-by-step -step process of what i've done to increase my revenue just because you have a large following does not mean you are going to be successful at selling courses right so something that i have to learn how to do now is sales and marketing because i know that this works right i have literally i am the guinea pig for this i have done everything that i documented in that course to make myself really comfortable right i can save two to three thousand dollars every single month based on this strategy i have in my course but now it's time for me to really learn how to properly sell that to people and help people right i'm pride myself on accessibility so it's only a hundred dollars but that's still not enough to really get people to move like that right so now i have to focus on sales it's taking me pro like easily over a hundred hours to put together the idea to put out the materials to record to edit that you get the point right it's it's a lot a lot of work and if you're not going to have the consistent flow of people buying the course and it's going to be a waste of time right so it's not a waste for me i literally just came up with the course like two months ago so there's still time for me to kind of figure things out and like make it a little bit more easier to read and to follow but the point is it's it's a little tough airbnb is the next one all right so um i have an airbnb in belize where my mom and i are running together and that has been a lot too because it's a lot to put the house together then airbnb is like this whole process to actually get your property online and then because of the pandemic and it being in a different country you know it's a little shaky baby <laughs> if you guys have been a long time watcher of this channel you know that we tried doing a long-term rental and that didn't really go as planned and i would do short-term rental which literally for a fraction of the month we get like the same if not even more money than we did on a long-term rental so a six day stay at the airbnb is actually over 300 dollars more than what we could get at the max level for a long-term rental right because there's a certain amount of money that people just cannot pay but the short-term rental is much more lucrative because of the a little amount of time so even if we only had like half the month 
actually booked out you're still way better off than having a long-term rental it is more work but it's more dollars too and it nets out being a larger net profit i urge you to pick one two or all of these side hustles because we are in a recession technically and it will not be felt until 18 months from now or so when people really settle in we're dealing with hiring freezes or even straight up firing it's going to get it's going to get all here right watch this video to see a step-by-step -step plan for how to come out of the recession on the rich end because we are going to be making money out here Mwah. and until next time keep your money up